that was very weird. I can definitely hear voices. They're coming from inside the house. Can you tell me who your murderer was? The very first thing that I want to investigate kind of scares me. A lot of people have been physically attacked in this house. Now the batteries are dead. We want to talk to the person we heard on the staircase. Are you okay? One of my legs is just shaking. And we can actually hear voices around us. It's so odd. tuning into Amy's Crypt and welcome back to the 99 Door Mansion, the most haunted, cursed, infamous place here in Malaysia. We are about to head inside to investigate. If you guys haven't done so already, go back and watch my part one video. We're about to pick up right where we left off there. And I'll tell you what, we were already receiving a lot of crazy activity in that video. So let's head in. Alright guys, we just made it into the front lobby of the 99 door mansion. The very first thing that I want to investigate kind of scares me. This grand staircase here, right in the middle of the mansion. The creepy thing about this staircase is Jared and I both swear, if you watch the part one video, you, you'll see when, what happens, but we both swore that we could hear someone walking up these stairs. Where was that noise coming from? On the stairs, right? Yeah. That was right above our head. Were you filming me? Yeah, I was. We're completely alone here. There's definitely no one else here that it could have been. It sounded too large to be any of the animals that we have seen around here. So we're gonna go up the stairs and reach out. Okay, this is a spirit box inside the 99 door mansion here in Malaysia. This place is said to be one of the most haunted and cursed places in the country. Uh, basically, a man was shot dead on the front stairs. His whole family is rumored to have died within the mansion also. We also have a lot of black magic that was supposedly practiced here with portals to the other side being opened and a lot of negative spirits coming from there. So before we get going, a lot of people have been physically attacked in this house. A lot of people have also been possessed, scratched, bites actually having their body taken over. So just warning you, Jared, maybe please don't get possessed tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now the batteries are dead, which is odd because I swear these are new. So give me a sec, I'm just gonna change these. All right, take two, sorry about that. Hi, my name is Amy. Is there anyone in this mansion that can talk to me? Can you come close and tell me your name? Can you say hello? We heard someone here earlier on the stairs. Was that you? We want to talk to the person we heard on the staircase. I've heard there's a lot of spirits here. Is there anyone willing to talk? Is there evil in this house or are there still good people here? Are you okay? Yeah, I just had a bug on my nose. Oh. Why did you come to this mansion?
Can you tell me how many doors there are here? How many doors are there here? Who is it that hurts people? Is there a portal within the house? Do you like us being here? Can you come down the stairs again? Thank you. I'm gonna cut that because one of my oh, one of my legs is just shaking. I don't know if it's because I've just been standing on this staircase in pitch black and it's just like getting weak or something. Alright, before we get to any more investigating, there's actually part of the house that we didn't explore during the day, that I want to explore now it's dark. So, let's go have a look. Maybe it was a bird or something, but I felt like I could hear kids out in the plantation trees when I walked up here. We're also standing in a spot I already was standing earlier just because I have no idea. I just felt like I liked this spot and liked looking out here. Jared came to stand with me. We were both standing right here and we both heard a big breath as if someone else was standing with us, like right behind us. It was really- Sounds like this. It was really distinct. It was neither of us and we both heard it at the same time. And this place creeped me out. So we're gonna come back here and reach out. But first I wanna take you guys over here. So we didn't really get to look through there in the day. There's actually a little staircase I think that we can make our way down there now. So let's try and do that. There's a creepy spiral staircase. What is creepy is I heard the entire plantation is haunted and there's spirits that roam all the way around here and we can actually hear voices around us like very, they could be distant, like there could just be people somewhere far away and nothing sus but it's so creepy coming through those trees knowing how remote we are. Alright, so this is the place we didn't really explore today. This we will not be going in because you can just see how badly damaged this floor is. Yeah, this is... I mean, this is an abandoned property and it even has a caution tape here. So, that's how you know it's messed up. <laughs> this room looks particularly fire damaged. Whoa. Actually kind of creepy looking up there. And when you look down, there's just this big rusted chain. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know why that's here. I'm not sure why that is there. <laughs>
place is so crazy. So check out all of these under here. All these arches leading underneath the house into that crawl space. I don't know if any of you have seen that. I think it's called The Visit. It's a horror movie where these kids go to stay at their grandparents' house. Actually really, really good. It's scary, but it's funny as well. But that scene where they're under the house is petrifying. This is what this reminds me of. She tried to damn me to do a joke, came in there today. Get f***. <laughs> Worth a try. Yeah. Let's go back over here to the breath person spot. You can definitely hear people out there. I don't know if they're close to us or not. around and they actually come here I'm gonna freak out we got dropped off here we don't have a car and this place is sort of sort of remote it's we're staying in Penang which is maybe a 40 odd minute drive away and I think it's maybe like two kilometers to the nearest town right Jared mm -hmm. so I don't know if anyone comes for us we have to run for at least two kilometers to be near any any other people so ugh. okay all right oh there's bats right behind you just flew out oh don't tell me that that's in the light hopefully you won't see them okay that's better okay guys i'm just pressing record now on a ghost tube session if you want to download this tool for yourself it's available on both apple and android it's free to download i'm going to leave a link below it's going to assist me doing an EVP session right here. This is actually where Jar and I stood earlier and heard a disembodied breath, I'm going to call it, right behind us. I know that sounds odd, but that's what we heard. My name is Amy and I'm looking for the person that was standing behind me here earlier. Is there a frog out there? Who was it that was breathing down my neck? There's a car going past in the distance. Can you tell me your name, please? I would like to know who you are. You came close to us before, I'm guessing you're curious. Don't be afraid to do so again. I'm gonna face the same way I was when I heard the breath. Can you come up behind me again? Can you make a noise or say something so that we know you're here with us? I can hear that distant voice again, so I'm just making note of that. How long have you been in this mansion for? Did you die here or were you bought here? They're coming from inside the house. Do you think? Yeah. Is there someone... I swear the magnet reader is on it. Is there someone... I swear the magnet... Is there someone... I swear the magnet... Is there someone here? I 
people come in. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap up this session. And we're gonna turn off the light and go investigate this. I don't know if that noise will get picked up on the camera, but there's people out there in the plantation. In the middle of the night. That is really, really creepy. You know what, let's go inside because I don't want them to see that we're here. Alright, so we're hearing voices all around us in the plantation and that's terrifying because we're in the middle of nowhere. There's, this place is abandoned, there shouldn't be anyone out here. I can still hear them, I can't tell if they're coming closer to us. That sounds f***ing close. Sounds like a speaker now. All right, guys, I'm gonna ignore these noises. That's on loudspeaker now or something. We're gonna go in this other room. I just need to continue my investigation to keep my mind off that. This room earlier, I was hearing a lot of noises in, and when I heard all these noises in here, I went in to check it out. There was nothing in there. It didn't appear like there was any animals or anything like that. And when we were standing right here, that's when we heard all of the noise up the stairs. So this room is a bit interesting for that. I'm going to go in and see if we can see if there's something in there that made those noises. Get something in there to replicate those noises and make them again. I don't know. This one's very creepy. Alright guys, so now we're standing in complete darkness in that room where I heard all the noises. And I'm going to call out. See if we can get them replicated. Hello, is there someone in this room with me? My name is Amy and I would like to know if there's someone here. Could you please make a noise to let me know I'm not alone? There's a lot of noise out there. Do you want to hurt people? Let me enter this house. Were you making noises in here earlier? Can you do that again, please? because I can hear so much noise outside. I don't know what the hell is going on in the plantation. It's freaking me out a little bit, that, to be honest. We heard that singing in part one, I think. It's freak. It's freak. It's freak. It's freak. I think this is a different singing, to be honest. The first singing we heard in part one, that sounded more like prayer. This, I don't know what this sounds like. Because there's so much noise outside, I can't really do a proper EVP session because I won't be able to distinguish noises coming from outside to near me inside. So I'm going to opt to do a spirit box. Usually what I do and it's a little bit louder and see if any spirits come through this device. I'm also reaching out in English here as well just to note the family who are said to have died slash murdered here were British so they would speak English. Hi, my name is Amy. Is there anyone in this mansion or room that can come close to me and use the device in my hands to talk? I don't mean you any harm, I'm just looking for someone to talk to.
Can you come close and say hello or tell me your name? I want to know why you are in this mansion. Is this a good place to be? Are we welcome inside this house? Is there someone that was messing with us earlier and made noises all around us? There's candles at the shrine over there. I don't think it was that. Alright, we're back in that room now. I'm just gonna keep going. I swear I saw the light come past like someone was walking past. But maybe I'm just paranoid because I can hear all those noises out there. If there is anyone in this house, I'd like to know who it is. How many spirits are here? How many doors are here? Is there 99 or is there 100? Can you tell me the number? So there's no one here in this house that can talk to me using the device in my hand. Were you making noises in this room earlier? Can you do that again? Yeah. Where are you from? Can you say your name? Can you tell me your name? Is John here? It's odd with nights like this where you can get so much all in one go and then now it feels like there's no atmosphere in this room at all. It just I think the noises around us have stopped in the plantation too. It's so odd, I tell you. So this is one of the rooms that we're not gonna go into. If you've seen it, uh, part one, you would have seen it, but that floor is completely rotted and termites are definitely in here. I actually can smell bats in there as well. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Gross. Check this handprint out as well. Ooh. Oh, that's freaky. All right, guys, I'm just hitting record now on a ghost tube session. I'm going to be reaching out though and try to communicate with the man who was shot twice in the head and died here. John was a British man, so I'm going to be reaching out in English. John Ramston, are you still in this mansion? I've come here to talk and I don't mean you any harm. Watch and listen to this next part of the video closely. While we didn't pick up much in this particular session, 
we did capture a strange high-pitched sigh, followed by an unexplained flash of light that comes across the left-hand side of the screen. Do you think this could have been a simple light reflection, exterior noise, or something possibly paranormal? Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below about what you think may have caused this. Can you come closer to me, John? Is that you in there? 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 Thank you. So I've heard some noises around me. I'll be reviewing that footage later to see if we picked up any EVPs, electronic voice phenomena that our ears didn't, weren't audible to our ears at the time of recording this. I didn't see any spikes in the magnetometer. Hey Ames, this blob of paint looks like a skull. It does not. It does? Come on, it does not. Is this its teeth? Mmm. Whoa. I think I've just seen either a massive bird or a bat come out of that tree. It's crazy. I've got a bit of graffiti here, but it's that looks creepy. What is it? I don't know, it looks like someone like the grudge. <laughs> yeah, it does. And there's a lot of numbers here. Listen. Oh, this. Nope. The Someone's ghosts here like their math. School homework or something. <laughs> it's weird. Whilst we captured some very strange activity early on in the night at the 99 door mansion, we wanted to stay until midnight to test the legend of a 100th door opening up to the realm of the dead. I was both disappointed and thankful when nothing happened. It was interesting how the night started off so promising, and the later it got, the more activity seemed to fizzle out. What do you think of the 99 door mansion? Do you believe it is haunted or just surrounded by some sensational legends? What about the 100th door? Do you think it exists? Please share your thoughts with me in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's one of the craziest places that I have been. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can do a little bit more reading on this place or other haunted places that I have visited at amyscrypt.com. You guys are also able to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at amyscrypt. Until next time.